I would describe Emma as, <laughs> as, as a kid. <laughs> One of the best givers of hugs I've ever known. And she's just so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. She's brilliant. Generous, funny, she's so funny. I think that she is truly special and there's no one like her. Emma has a very big heart, uh, full of love and full of, she's full of fun. And actually that totally translates onto the stage. David and I have been lucky enough to collaborate with Emma on three shows now. And I think we knew first of all, on the first day of rehearsals, how incredibly special she is. She's extraordinary with her vision and with her daring and uh, with, with her intuitive skill in, in making theatre. At like the, sh the core of her sheer brilliance as a director is this kind, gentle, funny, funny, funny um, and powerful woman. Any idea is welcome, any idea goes and you, she loves to surprise you and she is a crazy ball of infectious energy. That sense of fun, that sense of play, that sense of joy that Emma is able to bring out in her company, in her work, in her audiences, in the collective spirit that comes together around what she creates, it, it, it is contagious and, and you have that feeling from the very first moment you walk into the room. Emma is an extraordinary director and she has been at the forefront of her game for many, many years. She's so up for a challenge and up for, you know, taking things to the next level. It's never too much either with Emma. You'll be like, you'll look at her and be like, too much? And she'll be like, mm, no. no. <laughs> I think also what is so exciting about the future is with Emma's new company, Wise Children, her philosophies of both education and diversity, she is going to inspire a whole new generation of theatre makers. And I personally can't wait to see what that's going to entail. She makes a home for all of us who are misfits, who are slightly on the cusp, slightly on the edge, who wouldn't necessarily find a home anywhere else, but are allowed to fly in her universe. I think more people should be like Emma Rice. The world would be a better place.